Hello everybody, welcome back to AI War Fleet Command. Time to finally get this Fall Inspire campaign continuing. And what we've got going on here is not exactly subtle. I've got my survey ship into Utapau. That's where we've got to investigate our next anomaly or whatever. I've got my whole fleet group in here. Not using the golems, but I could. Oh, a warp gate guardian. How much fun. All this stuff. What kind of asteroid speed booster? Okay, I haven't seen any, like, Tachyon or Widow. Probably because the astro trains are on so low. But in any case, our survey ship here has a two-minute timer that is counting down. And we're just fighting off all this other stuff. Just waiting for that to tick off and let us know what's going to be next. And final seconds of the survey. Bingo. Commander, our scanners have discovered the source of the strange subspace signal on Utapau. It is emanating an enormous amount of power. We've attached some rudimentary thrusters, but can't put anything bigger on it without risking an explosion. We need you to guide and escort it back to home command. We also need to do this very quickly. AI warp activity just jumped off the chart. Okay, where is this thing? There it is. That's a shard, it says. It'll be consumed after building one ship. It's blind, immune to various things, has 3 million health, but low armor. And very low speed, speed of 12. So it's going to crawl. A strange crystalline artifact. So it's a big thing. And uh, subspace receiver is, I assume, what it's going to turn into. Okay, so anyway, this thing, we need to get back to home command, so it's got to go back to Elpis. Let's gather all our ships. Have them group move over here by it. Of course, we've still got our beachhead over here. Uh, yeah, let's not group move. Let's be in a hurry about it then. We're going to advance slowly. Doesn't say anything about not being able to repair it. In any case, 99%, nothing to be worried about. And they've got some other ships coming over this way, but they've been handled to a certain degree by all of our... Yeah. Some more coming over here as well. Our spider turret's doing a great job at immobilizing them. Oh, you know what? Let's get rid of that. There we go. Ah, Missile Guardian. So far, not really having any problems with all of this. Plasma Siege. And we are slowly making our way back to the wormhole. So this looks like one of those things that's just going to take a while because there's no way to make this move any faster. It's lost a little more health, still at 99%. I don't foresee any problems. I don't foresee any need to use the high... See, th there we go. They're launching a bunch more ships. And this Spire Starship's going to be a pain. You... Are you actually inactive? Yeah, okay. Let's, let's have you join the... The fun for real. Botnet Golem, of course, turning some of those ships around. But overall, we're not having any problems here, really. I mean, we've lost some of our Mark I fleet ships, but that's a big who cares. And I don't think I'm going to need this whole thing over here. It's probably completely unnecessary. So I'm going to just start 
gradually getting rid of this stuff. Let's bring our survey ship back as well and gradually start taking some stuff down. Yep, there's reprisal level one, so let's just stop there until that reprisal goes away. And did we make the jump already? We did. Okay, let's... Let's definitely go with it then. If I lose that survey ship, I can always build another. There's no reason to hang out in here, because any more losses we take in here adds to the reprisal. I'd much rather just have stuff have them follow us in and have them feed us scrap. And of course the other zombie ships in there doing their thing. So, oh yeah, they're coming through here too. So there's, there's plenty of resistance here. They don't like us having this shard. But, again, I think with our golems, with our starships, everything else, we're going to have a little trouble here. And those astro trains haven't been enough to, unlike on the higher settings, with just the setting at one, they haven't been enough to really do anything other than be a very minor impact. And we're going to have a wave hit here in Iris in just a moment. There it comes. They're really not getting any shots off here, hardly at all. More coming that way. So I just pretty much want to stay close by this shard as it slowly makes its way to our homeworld. And there's our reprisal, so we can go back in and get rid of some more things. And we are almost ready to jump back into Elpis. So it looks like this particular deal is going to be successful, especially with all of our Ninezo Enclave allies joining in the fun. Alright, let's go in. Oh, and it's already going to give us a success here. Okay. What's this going to tell us? Alien artifact recovered. Once again from Dr. Michael Davidson at the telemetry lab of Home Command, Commander Thetimix. Uh, warp activity dropped back to normal when the alien artifact entered our home system. But any AI craft already pursuing the artifact are probably still coming after it. Please be careful. Losing the station right after this remarkable discovery would be too ironic. It'd be pretty tragic too. That would suck. Using the data from the survey team, we have completed our preliminary analysis of the shard, as we've come to call it. Put it briefly, this crystalline object is some sort of small power reactor. Please note that small does not mean low yield. This thing has over 10 times the output of our standard collector. Okay, so that means it's like close to 2 million energy. Regrettably, we can find no way to patch it into our grid without blowing everything to kingdom come. Yeah, that is unfortunate. You have basically unlimited energy with that and make the Zenith power generator look like a child's toy. Of much greater interest, the artifact is clearly of alien design. Whether it was found naturally and converted into a reactor or is itself a fabrication we cannot tell. Nevertheless, it was made by somebody. If this shard is any indication, that somebody may be able to help us. A lot. To find these aliens, if they are there to be found, we need to investigate more of these strange subspace signals. Our current technology is extremely limited in that capacity, but the shard seems to have an innate resonance with those emanations, and we have already detected another signal. We have designed a subspace receiver that can be constructed around the shard and scanned for the remote source of the signal. It won't be cheap, but I'll have to tell you how important this could be. Okay, so this artifact is basically it's a big power source and we're going to turn it into a really powerful subspace thing to detect other ships or constructions or whatever other signals coming from the same general species that built it 
and we're hoping that eventually we're going to find an ally in our war against the AIs. So we've got our shard here. We're going to use it to build a subspace receiver. It can only be built on a planet with a human home command station. And now it's activated. And why don't we build it underneath our force field right back here. That sounds useful. Now 300k it, metal. It doesn't require any energy. And since we've got a bunch of engineers that will eventually get sick of repairing everything, they're going to go deal with that. Okay, let's move our ships back here. Now we're starting to get some engineers back here to work on building this thing. We've got one reprisal about to hit, another one that is powering up. No word yet on future exo waves. I'm sure they'll be coming eventually. And we can see we're up to 47 now. Nine Zul Starship Friends. Okay, now that's been completed. We have another journey. Its survey operation is going to take five minutes. Let's check in first in Minerva, where they're getting hit. What do we have here? Um, okay, so we've got some Mark 1 and 2. Makes sense where our air progress is at. Fighters, bombers, particular cutlass, tachyon, and they have some munitions boosters. How interesting. Two leech starships. I can't imagine that causing a threat. Don't need to worry about that. So let's see what our new message is. Dr. Davidson says, You have my gratitude for constructing the receiver. I know our resources are scarce. Actually, they're not. But you're welcome. Intensive scanning sweeps are underway to pin down the location of the remote signal so we can investigate directly. This will take some time. Okay, so I'll come back when we get this little scan finished. Okay, our new scan is finished, and it's it's back in Utapau. That's interesting. And by the way, this is random it, to a certain degree. It doesn't always show up in the same system. But we have got to do something else here. We've taken down the whole beachhead that I had there before. I assumed it was going to go to a different system, not go back to the same one uh, for the next you know leg of the campaign. So at least we freed up the energy probably be using that to build Spirecraft at some point and now we've got a new message Dr. Michael David said again good news with the subspace receiver we have successfully located the source of this latest subspace signal to Utapau we believe that a similar recovery operation will be effective here with one twist this signal is further away from our home world it's actually not um, something is wrong with your uh, algorithm there because Utapau is just as far away as Utapau we can only assume that the AI will chase us this time, too. However, during the previous incident, we observed a few important facts. Not all AI ships join the pursuit. Only those dispatched through the warp grid, perhaps destroying the nearby warp gates, will increase the distance the ships must travel to catch us. Perhaps, but I don't want to take the step of boosting AI progress further if I can avoid it. The pursuit did not stop when we reached our homeworld, but the AI ceased sending additional ships for the purpose. Best of luck. Okay, so I'm just going to use the same strategy. Now, we do have a full hive golem this time. we we'll send our survey ship and our battle group right back to Utapau and see what happens there. Another two-minute survey wrapping up. We've just been sitting in here fighting off whatever they send at us. This is a day we'll remember, assuming we survive. That sounds great. We expected another star shard, and I suppose you could say we found one, except this one is still powering a starship. A starship crewed by an unknown alien race. Our previous contact with the Zenith and others has made the linguistic situation at least possible, but we're still working on getting these translators to do something other than spit out gibberish. Gibberish aside, we have been able to determine that they are on the run from the AI and want us to rescue them. Given our previous experience, this means taking them back to our home world. Whether bringing a fully operational alien warship straight back to home command is a good idea, we have to leave that to you. In any event, the alien starship will now obey your commands. Judging by local AI warp activity, we'd better get moving. Wow. All right, that's cool. So a starship that we need to assist. And where are they? 
Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, it just hadn't quite appeared yet. I had to unpause it. It's an alien refugee ship. It has beam weapons. It only has health of 750k. It'll once again be consumed after building one ship. Resists 14% of, of implosion damage. So it's further across the system, but it moves faster, thankfully. A ship populated by an unidentified alien race. Its preliminary contact with our survey teams was extremely rough. We managed to determine the crew is on the run from the AI and will follow our orders. Well, whether it's wise or not, we're here to complete this campaign. Let's do it. So let's just move it back. And this is not going to last very long. Regardless of how this goes. Let's just do attack move that way. So I've got everybody moving as quickly as they can towards this ship. Yeah, come on, get over there. Okay, it's down significantly in health. We can't afford to let it get crushed too much. But we're doing fine with that now. Yeah, and this looked like they got a Spire Starship. Yeah, a Mark III Spire is chasing it. Alright, everybody come back this way now. Looks like we've cleared out the riffraff. And where are you at? Alright, let's get everybody in there. And you as well. You go back home. They got themselves a lovely warp gate guardian, and here comes some more fun. Well, that's fine. And I don't feel the need to launch the hives yet, the wasps. We've been doing fine without them. All right, now everybody get back home. Alien refugees rescued. That sounds like good news. It sounds like they decide not to just come in and bomb everything that we have. Positive sign. Commander, the survey team has kept me informed. This could be quite a coup. Well, perhaps that isn't the best term to use. Probably not. In any event, we've worked through most of the basic communication barriers with the alien refugees. They call themselves the Spire. They aren't very talkative, but they are grateful. They are also rocks. Eh, perhaps not very diplomatic. To put it another way, their bodies are crystalline formations. Exact competition unknown for reasons you can deduce. For the time being, they seem very focused on tending to their wounded and regrouping. To that end, they have asked our permission to construct a small outpost near one of our metal deposits. The decision is, of course, yours. Well, of course you can construct a small outpost near one of our metal deposits. So we are building... A Spire Refugee Outpost. They'll use their significant battery of heavy beam cannons on any of our common enemies in range, but in general they'll stay out of our business until they have something important to say. Must be built within 2,000... Okay, let's see. This thing has 2 million health, so about triple what the ship itself has. Resists 44% of implosion. It's immune to a decent amount of stuff. 24,000 times 40. Wow. That's more than significant. That's awesome. Okay, so let's see if we can find a place that's near... So all of our metals are pretty much over this way. This is probably the most centrally located thing. Right there. Now, it doesn't say anything about being effective underneath a force field. So initially, I don't want to put a force field on it. Typical build time is half an hour. We'll obviously reduce that considerably. 500k metal. And no energy to keep it running. Okay. Let's regroup our fleet again. The great majority of them survive. Just add a few more fleet ships to it. Heal up everybody. And off go our zombie bots from the botnet golem. And it's going to gradually build up. 
There we go. Okay, so the refugee outpost was rebuilt, or rather built for the first time. From attempted transliteration, Entelamaran Exorod. Gratitude, surprise, suspicion, patience, rebuilding, can help, small, looking for others. The blow is an attachment from the diplomatic corps such as it is. As far as we can tell, they were not counting on help from humans. We may know nothing of them, but they apparently heard a lot about us and not in a positive way. For what it's worth, we actually recognize their technology from some old artifacts you acquired many years ago. You may be familiar with our Spire Starship design acquired from some wandering zenith, though we now know it to be very different from the real deal. We also developed our heavy beam cannon technology and parts of the riot's modular capabilities from these artifacts, but we had never met the Spire until now. Regardless, they are willing to set our recent actions in rescuing them against our dubious reputation and are very grateful for our allowing them to settle their small number of refugees in this system. They don't seem to want to talk much and they're very focused on their own affairs. But they have offered to build a small number of what they called tiny craft to help us. We don't know if the translators are still on the fritz or what, but the design they transmitted is far from tiny. Finally, it seems they are scanning subspace to try to locate other refugees, or perhaps other artifacts? We couldn't really figure out which. Either way, it seems they are our best lead to finding out what's going on if we want to know. Sure. So we have another survey to conduct and uh, yeah the spire frigates okay so those are the things that they've been sending at us in most of the waves we can have four of those at 2,000 energy each and of course they're 120 K every eight seconds weapon yeah let's do that let's add those to our main fleet and then I also want to get some spire craft going I'm gonna do that down here in Herculina let's get mining ship uh, that we have and I want to start tapping into these. Now, there's only... Energy is going to be somewhat of an issue probably with this. When I was looking at these ships, I like the idea of the attritioner. So I want to build the, the entry-level attritioner. We can build three of those currently because we have three asteroids in this system. And we've got to actually just go over here and you've got to get it like on whichever asteroid you want to use. There we go. So it'll be three of those at 20,000 energy each. And then we have the Zampite, the third tier one. And for that one, I mean, I thought about building a Martyr, but just the you know, 45,000 energy is a lot, and that still might be the best. But I have some Warheads. So I figured, you know what? I could try a bunch of other things. There's any number, like the Penetrators, the Fire and Forget, you know, every half an hour. Those are kind of interesting. But I wanted to get some of these implosion artillery. I like those, idea, th those ideas. Then these will do 1% of damage to an enemy target every second. And of course, you need a bunch of them to really be super effective. But these again cost 45,000 energy. So we're going to be taking down a significant amount of energy with this. And I don't know that I want to go much lower. So as my sort of Spirecraft introduction, I wanted to get those ready. And then once those are built and we get this survey done then we will move on to the next stage here but I do think completing those next two chapters as it were of the Fallen Spire story is enough for now so we will come back next time with whatever happens after this survey story will continue see if the space rocks the quiet space rocks whatever we want to call them See if they're able to help us more, or what happens next in that. Till then, thanks for watching, everybody. More AI Warfleet Command coming up soon.